Belfast Big 2, Glen Thorne and Linfield under 13s met at Midsley Park. Both teams in their familiar colours, Glen Thorne in the green and Linfield in the blue. Glen Thorne kicked off and from that kick off they forced the first chance when this flowing move down the right wing forced a Linfield defender Chris Kelly to clear the ball over his own crossbar. Down at the other end, clever footwork from Linfield's Finn Mulhern earned Linfield a free kick in a dangerous area. Oran O'Kane stepped up to take the free kick, but it resulted in an easy save for Ryan Kerr in the Glentorn goal. The Glens attacked down the right side again, this cross from Rhys Little allowing a shooting opportunity which Linfield cleared until the Glens picked up possession again and Callum Parker had a long range strike which went just over the crossbar. Glentorn then opened the scoring when Jude Johnson's through ball found Jay Harvey who made it 1-0 to Glentorn when he cleverly turned inside the area and his powerful shot was too hot to handle for Jonah Galbraith. In a tight opening first half, Glenn Torren had to start from their defence to create the next opportunity, Callum Parker bringing the ball forward across the halfway line before finding Reese Little who cut the ball back for Jay Harvey to shoot from inside the area. Again more Glen Torn pressure came down the right wing, Reese Little crossing and an infield keeper gathering before throwing the ball out to Linfield's number 9, Phil Mulhern, who was dispossessed by Brandon Hamilton who went ever so close to doubling Glen Torn's lead. Linfield were battling in midfield and strong running and clever footwork from James Douglas allowed Oren O'Kane a crossing opportunity, however there was just too much on his pass this time. Then Torn gave the ball away in their own half and allowed Limfield their best opportunity of the game so far when the ball landed at the feet of Finn Mulhern who went past his marker but could only fire wide off the top left corner much to the dismay of the Limfield support. Into the second half we go with Glen Torn leading 1-0 and their first chance of the half fell to Jay Dalzell who fired hard and low at the Linfield goalkeeper who saved well from close range. The ball then fell to Reese Little on the edge of the area but his effort was easily saved. Linfield had a golden opportunity to level the scoring when the chance presented itself to Charlie Redmond but he could only fire over the crossbar from inside the area. The Blues then won a free kick in a dangerous area right on the edge of the box and in Mulhern was fouled, up stepped Oren O'Kane to take the free kick and he made it 1-1. One -one. With the game tightly poised, the next goal was always going to be crucial. This clever ball down the line played in Reese Little, but Jonah Galbraith saved well. The East Belfast side then took the lead when this well placed strike from Reese Little made it 2 1 and put them in the driving seat. Full time it finished Glen Torn 2, Linfield 1.
Uh, take a, a very valuable three points. Uh, not a greatest performance, but I thought whenever we needed to dug in, we dug in. Control the first half, um, and then let them feel into it. Second half was a free kick, but I think overall, I think we deserved a win. Um, happy enough with it. Uh, Jay Harvey scored the first one. He's starting now to get a bit of fitness, a bit of form, so he's doing really well. Reese Little again with another super goal. Um, outstanding. So all our goal, all our players, all our players are chipping in with goals this season as well. So every every game, we always expect someone to score. Um, the two boys were outstanding today again. I feel it was a game of two halves today. Okay, the first half, Van Glen Torn came out, showed them a lot of respect. Um, we didn't get close enough. They played a diamond, and um, watched it took us a while to, to, to figure out and took a while for the players to figure out and obviously get closer to them. Um, second half, we matched them all over the park. We got our, our goal, which I think we deserved. We were a bit on top, but um, uh, their, their second goal was a bit of class and something you would see at senior level and really deserved you know, to win the game. One plays in the middle or else he, you, know, you can sort of play in, a, play in the number 10 position as well. Um, he actually played a few minutes last night for the O5s as well. He does score a lot of goals outside, outside the 18 yard box and you can see he has a great left foot on him. Speaking of the other coaches and that there, I've only recently came in and um, we would do, we would be um, like the other few players coming, you know, more near the Super Cup and that there. Uh, so we feel we're maybe not that we're um, we're not happy with the players that we've got, but just feel we need a wee bit more competition in the right areas. Um, so um, we can sort of say we're going through a transition period at present, but we feel, I feel, in my honest opinion, Glen Torn at times are at their best, and I feel we have had a lot more to offer. And you know we learned a lot, an awful lot there the day in defeat, and I feel you do learn an awful lot in defeat. So we'll go back to the training pitch on Tuesday and Thursday, work our socks off, and we'll go again next week against Port Down. We had two great results. I mean, sorry, against uh, Balamina. We went down to Maiden City a couple of weeks ago. Nobody gave us a chance because, as I say, we're going through a transition period. We got a great result, and we built on it last week. The day very close game, um, which I feel Glen Torn, you know. We're at the best of times, I feel we won. So we have a lot more to offer.